when you look into deploying a web app, and I'm not just talking about running one on localhost, running one in production where you need to set up domain names, email, image hosting, backend services, authentication, and everything else. That's a lot of stuff you've got to take care of. But when I look at many web app bootstrap projects or getting started guides, I constantly see references to logging into a UI and doing manual configuration. But if like me, your goal is not just to build one web app, but to build multiple web apps throughout the year for many years to come, I believe that one of the keys to success is having a simple deployment, ideally just one command. Having worked with AWS for over five years, I've come to realize that a lot of the SaaS services that builders depend on that supposedly speed up your process all run on AWS. That means with just a little bit of effort, you can create a simple deployment mechanism for your web app into AWS, importantly with a single command. Getting all this working perfectly is a project I'm working on right now to make it easier to build web apps going forward. And in this video, I'm gonna share some surprising benefits of having a simple deployment mechanism that's 100% defined in your code. Have you ever heard of services like Mailgun, Cloudflare, Vercel? Services that legitimately take care of one part of your web app deployment. And admittedly, they do that quite well. But the problem with relying on all these services is that you have this kind of Frankenstein monster of a web app with configuration dotted all over the internet. Funny thing is that many of these services actually use AWS under the hood. And of course, the value they're adding is simplifying the process for you. But this kind comes with an important downside. While these services simplify, they take away an element of control of being able to configure your infrastructure exactly how you need. Whether that's timeouts, error handling, logging, alerting, I would argue it's well worth learning how to deploy all this yourself, especially if you're looking to do this in the long term. I've now narrowed my deployment for any web app down to two templates. They contain everything you need from domains to serverless functions to API configuration, deploying static resources, email, user setup, and anything else you might need to create your web app. And I'll be honest, getting all this right isn't easy. But once I've nailed these templates, I'll have something I can use again and again. And by just tweaking a few parameters, I'll be able to deploy a completely new web app. And the great thing is the main YAML template I have here, which defines all the resources that get deployed to AWS, is deployed with just a single function, serverless deploy, which of course you can run on your local machine or set up GitHub to run that automatically. But there's one more benefit, which is especially important for anyone starting new projects that might not yet be profitable. If you've paid attention to anyone that builds in public and then you do the same yourself, it's very easy to sign up for service after service until your bank account has a dozen direct debits coming out every month. And I'm not saying that many of these services aren't valuable, but I'm starting to prefer an approach where I take full control of everything that I need for my web app. A lot of these services that you're paying 10, 20, 30, 40 or more dollars per month for, they're just using AWS under the hood and the actual cost of the infrastructure is likely pennies for them. Instead, what you're really paying for is the marketing, staff costs and profit margin. Let's take a serverless function, for example. The service that deploys this on AWS is called AWS Lambda. On the pricing page here, AWS Lambda includes 1 million free requests per month. Beyond that, you're paying 20 cents for 1 million requests. This is how you can set up websites that literally cost pennies or dollars a month. My current estimated AWS bill is $18 and I'm running four different websites here. So what I'm saying is that keeping it simple and deploying your web app using one cloud provider like AWS, you can save a ton of money and the biggest cost you'll face will be buying a new domain. So I'm gonna continue working towards my slightly utopian vision of deploying with one or maybe two commands. When this project's ready, I'll share it in case that's something you might be interested in. But the last thing to say is that maybe next time you're considering signing up for a service, whether that's related to deployment or anything else, is it gonna be less work for you in the long run to use that service? Service, or spend a little bit of time upfront configuring that yourself and completely integrating it into your existing workflow. See you in the next one.